Today I'm taking you on a journey through these woods where someone tragically lost their life. Now this is a very sad tale and it's sad on quite a few different levels not just because a life was lost but the uh, tragic circumstances in which that life was lost so let's have a look through these woods and I will begin the story There was a young couple and I'm not going to use their real names, I'm going to use the name, I'm going to call her Jane. And Jane was 25 years old and she was married and, and they were happy, planning their future, getting ready to have a baby. Everything was going well for Jane. And every day she walked to work through these woods. And she walked on a path that I will show you later, known locally as the Yellow Brick Road. Now one day on a Wednesday in 2011 her and her husband had a big argument and he decided to go and stay in a hotel for the night to let the air clear so he packed a bag and went off to stay in a hotel. The next morning, Thursday morning, Jane left for work as usual, making her way through these woods. Now this was a place that she knew well, it was only a 20 minute walk to work and this was just a shortcut through the woods to her, to her work. And at 5pm she left work and headed home. Meanwhile, her husband was leaving the hotel and making his way back home to be there for when she got home from work. But when he got home, she wasn't there. So he waited for her. But she didn't come home. He might have thought she was still upset from the argument, so he went to bed. But when he woke up the next morning and she was still not home, he started making calls to try and find her. The last person to see her were her work colleagues when she left work at 5pm the day before. So he phoned the police and reported her missing and this was on the Friday.
and a huge search went underway to try and find Jane. But there was no sign of her. She'd completely vanished from her work. Four days later, the search and rescue group with a search and rescue dog were in this woods and they came across the body of Jane. Jane had been murdered. The whole of these woods were cordoned off by the police. And due to the argument that her and her husband had had, he was arrested immediately on suspicion of her murder. But CCTV footage of him leaving the hotel later proved that he wasn't in the woods at that time, on the time that she was found to be murdered. And so he was released without charge. A killer was on the loose. Jane had been attacked while walking home from work. The attack was so violent that a pathologist said it was akin to a car accident or falling from a great height. Somebody had battered her to death. Her belongings were found scattered through the woods and her body had been buried, hidden for four days. Hidden in these woods where she'd met a horrible, tragic end to her life and her future. And a manhunt began for the murderer. Why had someone killed her? There was no sign of a sex offence taking place and initially no sign of robbery. And for eight whole weeks, everyone was on edge Women were frightened to go out on their own and nobody came into the woods. But eight weeks later, they found the murderer. This man was only 21 years old, six foot tall and 19 stone. 
Jane was only four foot and six stone. She didn't stand a chance. She was just a little lady, petite and small, and a huge, horrible man took advantage of that. He initially didn't give a reason for killing her. In fact, he never gave a reason for killing her. But it was later found that some money was missing from her purse and they believe it was a robbery that got out of hand. The killer was sentenced to 28 years in prison before any chance of parole. What for me makes this particular case so tragic is not just the death of a young lady in such a gruesome way Not just the fact that they had their whole life ahead of them and were planning for their first child and everything was going well and all that was taken. But more the fact that the last time he spoke to her, the last time the husband spoke to his wife, they were arguing, they were fighting, and he never got the chance to say sorry. He never got the chance to make amends. How must that feel, knowing that the last time he saw her, he wasn't hugging her and he wasn't kissing her. He was shouting at her and she was shouting back. Jane was well loved, not just by her husband, but all her family. She had a bright future ahead of her and it was all taken away by the hands of a monster who perhaps just wanted five pound from her purse. And the way he killed her breaking all her bones, beating her up, crushing her heart. It was said that she died because of a rupture in her heart. That she broke, he broke her heart and he broke the hearts of all that knew her. And he set to fear into people who walk through these woods right to this day. This is the first time I've been here and it's not a million miles away from where I live and I will admit that when I'm walking through here there is an eerie feeling, there's an uncomfortable feeling you never know who's lurking around the corner.
because we're now on the actual path she took on that fateful night and this path is known by the locals of the yellow brick road I'm not quite sure why but this is the path that she took to and from work every day it's awful to think about it when you think that you know someone's just going for just going coming from work walking this way we've done it a million times before and uh, not knowing that they're never going to make it home It's a very, a very, very sad and tragic tale of a beautiful young lady and a bright future. Now, I don't know exactly where she was found in these woods. But... Pan, stop pulling. He likes to pull it while holding the camera. We've got this flower. Pan. And I'm going to put this in here by this tree. Pan, pan. <laughs> I'm trying to do stuff, and this dog's like got your completely own mind. Pan, come. Stand still. So there's a the flower. This is for the lady. Her name wasn't Jane, but I said I'm not using her her real name. Or really giving away too much of the real location. And I'm gonna put this in this tree if I can do it. The dog's pulling me like crazy. To go in the tree, I will. There we go. And that's for her. My way of remembering this wonderful lady.